we're making some smoke roasted salsa. I've gotten a bunch of requests, especially from uh, Jordan. This has taken a long time because I wanted to use my cherry tomatoes and my Roma tomatoes from the garden so I can make sure this is nice and fresh. This is the time of year to do this kind of thing. Use this as more of a guide than an exact recipe. For example, if you don't like things real spicy, you might not want to use jalapenos. You might want to use poblanos instead. So just kind of use this as a guide. Let's check out my ingredients. So I've got two large jalapenos. I'm keeping the seeds and the pith in. That's where all the heat is. If you don't like a lot of heat, then you would take yours out. I've got about a medium sized yellow onion. You could use a red onion or green onions. I'm gonna roast this whole thing of garlic. I've got a bunch of cherry tomatoes from our garden and a couple of the Roma tomatoes. Later on in the video, I'm gonna add some cilantro towards the end, some salt, pepper, maybe a little bit of Tabasco if we need to kick it up a notch. And I've got my Pit Boss smoker heating up. We're gonna roast these at 200 degrees today, and I'm using Pit Boss's charcoal pellets mixed with their competition pellets. So for right now, I'm gonna cut up some of these vegetables so we can get them in the smoker. All right, so I know a bunch of you guys get nervous when I get out the knife, but don't you worry. I'm only cutting these in half. Reason for this, it's gonna allow smoke to get in. Probably not gonna get in too good through that skin. So we're gonna give it a little bit better of a shot. So we'll cut these all in half real quick. So that was five, I don't know, medium sized Romas. Here's my jalapenos. The only thing I'm gonna do to these is cut the tops off, leaving all that goodness inside. That's where all that heat is. If you wanted to get yours out, you would cut it in half long ways and scoop it out, get that stem off. But we're not doing that today. Next up is this whole clove of garlic. I'm just gonna cut the top off like this. We're gonna expose all those little cloves to the smoke. Here's my medium onion. I'm just gonna cut this into quarters. But first, let me get off that end. I cut off this end as well. Cut it in half. Peel off the outside layer. And then we'll just cut them in half again. And then next up is all of my little cherry tomatoes. These are really good and sweet. I'm gonna cut all these in half. Like so. And now I'm just gonna transfer everything to this little baking sheet that fits perfectly in my little three series. I think they call this a half sheet. And now we're just gonna get everything on here. It's gonna be a tight fit, but we'll just deal with it. All my cherries. I'm gonna try and get all these tomatoes so they're facing up, the cut side up, so they can take on some smoke. Get my onions. Garlic. And we'll squeeze these jalapenos right in here. All right, next thing I'm doing, I'm gonna use this avocado spray oil. I wanna load up the garlic for one. And the onions, just so they don't get too dried out. And just for good measure, I'll do the tomatoes as well. So now all we gotta do is get this in the smoker. Let's put it in about the middle rack. Get it right onto our rack. Lots of smoke coming out of here. Get the door closed. 
and we're gonna let it smoke at 200 degrees now for about an hour. We'll come back out and take a look at it. We should be at that point ready to throw it into a food processor and turn it into salsa. And we just hit the one hour mark. Let's take a look and see how they're doing. Alrighty, let's get this door open. So you can see in here that they're sweating a little bit, but they really haven't, uh, uh, they're soft. The peppers are still firm. Okay, hot but firm. So this needs more time. Let's check the garlic. Yeah, that garlic's not mushy yet. I wanna get it nice and mushy. And these bigger tomatoes still need some more time. I'm sure the onions do too. So let's get this door closed. And I think what I'm gonna do is turn this up now to 250 degrees for another half hour, 45 minutes, just until that garlic gets nice and soft so I can squeeze it out of there. So when we get to that point, I'll come back. All right, all of our vegetables are ready, as close as they're gonna be anyways. So we went two hours. The first hour was at 200 degrees. The second hour was at 250. And now you can see how these look right here. All right, so let's start with that garlic. You can see the nice dark color that took on. It's a little bit mushy. I'd like it to be a little bit more mushy, but I don't feel like waiting another 15 minutes, I guess. The onions took on some nice color from that smoke. Our peppers are nice and soft. These tomatoes are roasted, but I don't know if you, you can pick it up in the camera. The good thing is we didn't lose a bunch of the juice that's in these tomatoes, so they're cooked perfect. So from here, I need to get these into my food processor. So we'll move that to the side, bring this guy into view. I'm gonna start by getting these onions in, get these down in there. Put our peppers in next, some spicy jalapenos. Let's squeeze in some of that garlic Oh yeah, soft enough, that's good. Okay, so I used about half of this thing. Let's get our cherry tomatoes in. Now we'll get our Romas. Any juice that's on the pan, I'm not gonna let that go to waste. Dump that in. Put the lid on and now I'm just going to pulse this just to get it going. So let's do that. All right, now I've got a lime, some cilantro, and I've got a couple of secret weapons I want you guys to think about. One is some smoked pepper. So this is, uh, I believe, oak wood smoked pepper. And then I've got some hickory sea salt. So what this is gonna do is really give it that little extra kick of smoke flavor. I mean, if you're gonna make smoked salsa, then why not take advantage of some smoked salt and pepper? All right, so, so far, that's how it looks. I'm gonna add in, this is a half of a bunch of cilantro. You could add more or less, depending on your taste. I'm gonna put in the juice of one lime. So let's get that in there. It's the first half. Here's the second half. Got to get that citrus in there. All right, here's that uh, hickory smoked sea salt. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon. Pour it in my hand first, just in case I over pour. It's really hard to take it back out of the pot if you do too much. So do it in your hand first. We'll put that in. Now I'm gonna put in this oak wood smoked pepper. So same thing, about a teaspoon. And 
and I like my salsa really spicy so I'm gonna go ahead and add about a teaspoon of this Louisiana hot sauce. Get that in and let's give it another blend. Got a nice bowl here I can pour it into. Oh yeah. Look at that. Still piping hot from the smoker. Quick taste test. Let's see if we need to adjust anything. Ooh, Ooh that's spicy. Perfect, smoky, spicy. I think it needs a little bit more salt, so we're not done yet. Now I'm gonna put some nacho chips in the smoker while it's still hot. We're gonna melt some cheese over it and then we're gonna put some salsa on it. You'll notice I'm just using the same pan that I used for my vegetables. Put some chips out. It'll just go a nice single layer. Then I'm gonna throw down this uh, four cheese Mexican blend. Oh yeah. Just make sure all the chips get covered. And let's get them in the smoker just to melt the cheese. So the smoker right now is still on 250 degrees. However long it takes to melt cheese, I don't know, maybe two minutes, three minutes, and we'll start eating them. All right, I got the nachos out. The cheese is just melted enough to where it softened up. Now I'm gonna put the salsa on top. You're gonna love this. All right, look at that. Now we're gonna take our fresh salsa that's still hot. This salsa, by the way, is gonna be even tastier tomorrow. Once it gets to sit in the refrigerator overnight, and all those flavors kind of marry together. Load this up. Now for me, I like a little bit of sour cream with my nachos. So I'll just put a big dollop right there. Let me grab a good chip. It's got a ton of salsa on there. Let's get a little bite of sour cream. And let's try it out. Here we go. Here it is. I'm looking forward to this. So flavorful. You got that nice garlic, the two different kinds of tomatoes. Those cherry tomatoes are nice and sweet in there. A little bit of cilantro, and then that smoked salt and pepper is your secret weapon. God, is that good. Let me get another bite. So there you go, guys. Smoke roasted salsa. I put it on top of some nachos with cheese, a little bit of sour cream. Did it all in the Pit Boss vertical pellet smoker. Hey, if you guys like this vertical pellet smoker video, you're gonna love one of those two right there. Check them out, and I'll see you over there.